Yo, what's up? Don't ever, ever give her this on a first date. All right. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you're new, please smash that subscribe button and hit the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right. Don't ever, ever give her this on the first date. And I'm not going to wait till the end of the video to do the big reveal of what this one thing is. And I'm just going to share it right now and I'll explain why. Don't ever give her flowers. Oh, fuck. I see this. I see this on TV so many times, whether it's million, millionaire, the millionaire matchmaker, first dates, 90 day fiance, blah, blah, blah. And the guy shows up with a bouquet of flowers. What the fuck has she done to deserve flowers? Oh, she gets a, she gets rewarded just for showing up to the date. Like what the hell is wrong with you guys? She's done nothing. She's done nothing to deserve flowers on a first date, except for just showing up. So these guys, this is the thing. When you do that, you put her on a pedestal and she knows it. She's like, I got this motherfucker. You do not ever want to put yourself in a position where now she feels like you're worshiping her. In fact, you need to do the opposite. She needs to feel a little insecure about, oh, does this guy even like me? Um, because I haven't, he didn't give me anything, right? The flowers, I can't emphasize this enough. Like, what is wrong with you guys that are doing this shit? And you, you convince yourself, oh, yeah, but she really appreciated it. No, she didn't. Women don't appreciate that. On the first date is what I'm talking about. They don't. And they just look at you like you're a weak, simp ass. So, okay, if you're going to give her something, don't feel like you need to, you owe her anything. You don't. This is a first meet, the first date. And she's not that special anyways, right? Just keep telling yourself that. Go, you know what? I don't even know this chick. She could be all weird. She could be all nasty. I don't even know her. So why am I going to reward her with anything at the beginning? Other than I am not a fan of, let's go 50-50. No, 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 no. You pay for the date. So here's a couple things I'm going to say that you can do. If you want to impress her, okay, let's just talk about giving her a gift of some sort. For whatever reason, let's just, let's say one of her love languages, her top three love languages is gifts. Or maybe that's one of your top love languages. But let's say that's one of her top love languages, which by the way, before our first date, I always ask these chicks, what are your top three love languages? So I can get an idea of their preferences, right? So let's say gifts is within the top three. So you know she's going to appreciate something. So what do you give her? All right, if she has a dog or a cat, you could get her a little toy for the dog or the cat. Because let's just say before the first date, you've been having a conversation for like a week or whatever, and you're kind of back and forth, and you find out, oh, her dog named Lucky or her cat named, named Lucy, and uh, she loves that dog, she loves that cat. Well. You can show her some thoughtfulness. That's the thing. Flowers are nothing thoughtful about it. You just go to the store, you buy flowers. Women are not impressed by flowers. I fucking tell you guys this. Like you can convince yourself they are, they're not. What they are impressed about is your thoughtfulness. Okay. So I'm going to give you two examples of things. If you really, really want to give her something that she will be impressed about. So the number one, like I said, is some kind of gift for her pet, a small little gesture like you paid two bucks for this thing or three bucks for this thing this little toy because you were thinking about her dog or her cat she will love that the other thing i will say is let's let's assume she doesn't live very close to where you want to meet and she now has to drive 45 minutes to meet you or an hour so i live in atlanta and there's a lot of cities around atlanta and I'm meeting women all the time. And some of them will say, oh, I live in this place. And I have to Google it because I'm new here from Canada. And I realize, oh, bloody hell, she lives like an hour away. So if she's willing to drive and travel to meet you for your first date. So that's a huge green flag, by the way, if she's willing to drive, you know, more than half an hour to come and meet you. That's cool. So the second thing you can do to impress her as a gift 
is you can give her a hundred bucks, let's say. I wouldn't give her anything less than that. Cause, uh, so I would just, let's say she's traveled 45 minutes or, long, or more to come and meet me, right? She comes in, I give her a hug, we sit down at, let's say it's we're meeting at a restaurant and I always like to sit at the bar. So she sits down at the bar and in a few seconds, a few minutes or so, what I'll do is I'll say, oh, um, give me your hand. I say, give me your hand. I don't say, can I have your hand? I never ask permission. Can I have a kiss? Can I kiss you? I say, give me your hand or I'll just go in for the kiss. But okay, so I say, give me your hand. She gives me her hand and I will have the money kind of rolled up a little bit. And I'll just say, hey, this is just a little something for you to help you with your gas. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. She will be very, very impressed because you were thoughtful that I appreciate the amount of time it took her to come and meet you. And that's what you give her. But in general, man, I'll leave you with this. Do not do the fucking flowers. Like I said, when I see that, I'm like, you pathetic idiot. <laughs> I don't care. You guys watching and you say, oh, I give them flowers and they always appreciate it. No, they don't. They don't appreciate flowers. Convince yourself all you want. Like I said, they're seeing you as pathetic, simp, right? And it's no thought behind the flowers. Did you pick them yourself? No, you didn't. Did you grow them yourself? No, you didn't. So that's why if you're going to give her something, give her something thoughtful, toy for her pet, or some money to help her with her gas. All right, let me know what you com in the comments what you think, and we'll see you next time.